Hi guys, Andy here. Now, you may have watched my unboxing of the Samsung Gear 360 2017 model um, a few days back. I was a little bit surprised. I thought I'd heard that it was going to be supported on all Android devices. Turns out, if it's going to, not yet. Um, but I headed over to the XDA forums, and sure enough, there's somebody on there that's working on it. Uh, well done, Quincy899. Thank you very much to him. Um, I thought I'd show you kind of what I've done to get it to kind of work on my Pixel XL. Um, the first thing to do would be to download, in this case, download the Wi-Fi Direct version. Um, there are some instructions there as well of how to get to Wi-Fi Direct in your settings. Um, and then I will show you now how what else you'll need to do. So let's power on by just holding down the power button. If you've not done it before, you'll want to get the Wi-Fi password. So we're going to hold down the menu button for two seconds. When it says connect to Android, we press again. So it says connect to iOS. We press the uh, start button, so to speak, the record. And you'll see there, there's my Wi-Fi password. So you'll get yours off and you'll use that to connect to the device. There it is appearing. It'll say there's no internet access. You'll need to be able to tell it to just kind of ignore that and stay connected. That should then be fine. I find that that sort of thing happens now. Then it turns my Wi-Fi on and off. If you haven't seen before, that's where we get the Wi-Fi direct. And you'll see I've actually renamed mine. It was called Android something, 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 something. Now, once you've got the Wi-Fi password and you've told the phone, I'm not actually sure you need to do that for Wi-Fi direct. I, I guess you probably do. But once you've done that, you probably actually want to go back to... It's the Android pairing mode. So I'm going to hold down the menu button again. Oh, it's already back on Android. Look, that's odd. You might, I thought you might have to have tapped through. So now it's saying that's ready for Android pairing. Then the first time you run that app that you installed, the one with the Wi-Fi Direct, it'll ask you to pair up. Um, you'll go through the pairing options. Mine's already paired, so it's connected straight in. So that connects via Bluetooth to the actual device. You can start and stop recording. Um, you can start and stop recording with the the button there, the red button. So let's, let's do it, let's show you. Mine's got a two second timer. It's now recording, fine, let's stop. So you can control everything, but that seemed the easier bit. The trickier bit now is, let's, let's go into the camera, is connecting sort of live view, well, just connecting to see video footage, photos and things from the device. Now, can we switch back? So I seem to find, I don't know if it's just coincidence, that when I forget any previously used groups, it seems to help. So it says it's searching at the moment. I tend to flick back and forth between the app and the Wi-Fi settings. Hopefully at some point we're going to see it pop. Here we go. Right. There you go. Oh, connected. Oops. And with any luck. Hooray! Hello! Um, and so we're into the app. Now, I've got a few different options. We can switch the modes around. Photo. And you should see. You see that it's changed to the photo. Can you see that? Um, also, so we can switch through any mode. Let's leave it on video. We can go into the settings for, for in this case, video. That's fine. Um, the interesting bit here, we can change the type of view. So 360 view. It's been all the way around. It gets a little bit sort of confusing and hard to control, I think. Um, round view, this one's even, I don't know what's going on here. This is that kind of that little world type. The size of my head. It's gone tiny. It's gone massive. It's gone tiny. It's gone. Anyway, um, stretchy. This is kind of the one you might. It's a little weird. You you do up and down is reversed. Um, you may be more comfortable with, but I found I think it's the next one. Yeah, dual view. So you're basically getting 360 from both sides, split, top and bottom. But we can have panorama view, which is basically sort of all all the way around. Um, so I, I seem to think that's probably the best view. Anyway, and again, so obviously you can record get the time at the top there. We can do everything from from the app now. So now we're recording. Processing. So that's 
that clearly that works. Then we go to gallery. Again, it's connected to the phone at this point. We see the two bits that are, so if we watch the one that I literally, literally just did. And there I am, woohoo. Um, this is one from yesterday, yesterday lunch. Just because when I've got a new toy, I do play with it a bit. <laughs> um, and as you saw, actually, let's switch and do a photo. I tried downloading the video, and it seemed to the progress bar all to 100%, and it seemed to hang there. And let's see if we can switch straight back in without any issues. So this is actually going quite smooth. It's not often as sort of slick and smooth as it's working right now. I, I guess when you're connected, so that's so there's our picture. We're going to go back into the. I could have actually tapped the icon there to come straight into the gallery. So uh, that's my photo. So we can tap and it stitches it together. I don't know if you have to do this before you save or if it does this when you save as well. But it should then hopefully open up or do we have to tap again? I don't quite know why it didn't. Okay, so I obviously, oh, here we go. I spoke too soon as far as how smooth, oh, I was, I was moving too quick. Look, um, I don't actually know what motion view is. It doesn't tell us. Okay, fine. Then we again we can change the the type of views for that, that photo, um, and then when we tap save, it's going to save it to the device. And if we come out and we go to Google Photos, it should there it is, and Google knows it's the 360, and there we go. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit zoomed in there, but that's me and me camera and me microphone. Look, so there you go. I'm uh, I'm really quite pleased with how well that works. Actually, now it's it can be a little bit of hard work. It can be you jump in in and out and back and forth from Wi-Fi, and it turns Wi-Fi off sometimes, and it's been frustrating as well. But I think actually now no, it's not that complicated. So download the Wi-Fi Direct APK. Um, make sure you've got the Wi-Fi password on your phone so it can connect. Um, and then just, just like I said, I don't know if it helps or not, if it's just coincidence that when I remove the, f the remembered groups that it seems to help it then connect through. Um, but then it seems to it seems to work great. One thing I've noticed, I think it rips through battery, so I'm down to 80%. I had it on charge this morning after I'd been playing with it, back up to close to 100, I think, and it's, and it's burning back through it again. So connecting to your phone will burn through the battery on the camera, just be, be wary of that. Um, so there you go. If you have questions because things aren't working, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not best you ask in the comments because I don't understand all the tech of this. But head to the SDA thread, hopefully Quinny, uh, Quinny899, well done buddy, uh, will be able to answer any questions that you might have. So there we go, it does work on other devices, or it was on my device, hopefully you can get it working on yours. Don't buy it buy the camera based purely on the fact that you think you'll get it working because it's not a given but you don't need it to work on the phone you can just use it as a camera and take the memory card out and put it in the in your computer so there you go hopefully that's been of some use to some people uh, my name's Andy I'll catch you all again soon